sticker wall tiles. You don't have to spend $42 like at Home Depot. I picked the subway tile because hello, very modern. Love New York City, love the subway. Very clean, very crisp. They had a rock pattern. They had a stone pattern. They have all kinds of patterns. You can do your whole damn bedroom wall for like 20 bucks. We're gonna do this wall. Look at that, I didn't even need that many. First thing you're gonna do is clean the surface, make sure it's dry, peel off the backing, line them up. Oh, okay. That's the only tricky part is that you want to make sure you line up your tile so it looks like a continuous piece. And then you're finished. I bet this is also like apartment rental friendly, right? Because you can just peel this off, I think, I hope. Also, can you put this on the floor? Probably not. <laughs> you can't walk on that. This is going to take five minutes. No brain cells needed. <gasps> Tell me that doesn't look like real tile. <laughs> yep, I love it. So here's the backing that they're asking you to peel off. This is good, look at that. Oh, this is easy peasy. Even for those non-crafty folks, you're gonna be able to do this. Oh, one's down. Y'all need to go and get you some. Make your kitchen look real cute. Hey, listen, if somebody comes over and they're like, is that plastic? Say, mind your damn business, don't touch my kitchen unless you're gonna pay for the remodel. People nosy as hell. Tell me that doesn't look good. I love it! And they're huge too. It's gonna cost you $25 DIY project for the kitchen. Freshen it up, it's time. If you live in an RV and you wanna freshen up the damn kitchen, the bathroom, this can go anywhere. Uh, I might wanna trim this one, huh? Yes, like this oh. mm. I don't think I lined that up right, but y'all should be more careful. I don't know if you're supposed to press it down as hard as I am. Just be gentle. Do not bust your tile because then you have to start all over. $4 project. <laughs> hey, that's impressive. Here's one where we have to cut. Oh, and I love how it has that fake grout look on it. <gasps> okay, let's see. You take your time and do this right. It's gonna be cute as hell. That just worked. One more piece and we're done. From far away, nobody's gonna know. He's gonna know. Oh, super easy to cut. Oh, that's a little crooked. It's a little slanted. You guys ready for my masterpiece? Align it. Oh no, the grout is off. It's fine, it's fine. I absolutely am impressed. It's a little off right there. Be careful with that. Once you line it up right, it's gonna look good. So yeah, buy you some extras because you might have to cut, you might have to align, you might have to find the perfect pattern. But is that not impressive? Look at it from the side. And from a distance, I'm telling you, you cannot tell that is plastic. <laughs> Let's try to peel this off real quick. Let's see what that's gonna do to the wall. Oh, it took my wallpaper off. Gentle. Look at this. Did it damage the wall? Absolutely not. Excellent little project. So I'm gonna give the sticker wall tile from Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. From far away, nobody's gonna know. Make your kitchen look real cute. Hey, listen, if somebody comes over and they're like, is that plastic? Say, mind your damn business, don't touch my kitchen unless you're gonna pay for the remodel. Like I need this to last at least six months. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, Dollar Tree is redeeming themselves for their price hike. Number one, plastic water steak. Were these not on the infomercials in the middle of the night selling for $19.99? Dollar Tree's got them for a dollar in that quarter. Look at this and it comes in a whole bunch of cool colors. I think the fancier ones of these come in like glass. This works just as well. It's gonna hold water. You're gonna be able to put it in your plants and it's gonna water itself. This is plastic and listen, Dollar Tree is bringing in all the spring gardening stuff. Oh, the cutest things are coming in. All you need to do, do not follow my instruction unless I get it right. The problem with this though, is that I forget to refill this. Then my plants still die. So I can't do it like real plants. Like how much water does it need? Like I need this to last at least six months. If you've used this or you have one of these, how long does it last? How often are we refilling this thing? If this is like a daily thing, um, never mind. We're gonna try it with the Costco bulb. I don't have one real plant besides this in my house. This is the only 
only one I can demonstrate with unless I'm gonna demonstrate with like a weed in the grass. <laughs> so I understand that all the nutrition is already in here, but this is just for demonstration purposes only so you guys can get the idea. What you do is you position it there really quick before I continue. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, you guys. It helps me out. It takes me to the top of YouTube. And then you insert like that. Did I kill it? Don't do this at home and kill your plants. But I believe this is how it's done, right? Look at it go. How beautiful is this? I'm gonna kill it now because I'm gonna drown it. For $1.25, you can at least have one plant inside the house that you're not gonna kill. Spring is coming and I'm excited and I need you guys to get excited too. Let's see if it's gonna... Okay, look at that. It's not even that much water. It's from the initial putting it in. If you get you one, tag me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Thigh relief. This is brand new. I had not seen this in stores. Remember that thigh thing? What is it called? Chub stick, chubby stick, something. Is this a knockoff? I think so. They had it in a liquid like lotion form and then they had the solid deodorant kind of form. I thought this was convenient. So you don't walk around with the lotion. You just, this is for chafing for all the girls with thigh gaps that don't know. Thighs, they gotta be curvy and thick. And then you get some of this and then it relieves a lot of problems. If you're at broad selling or on vacation. I just got back from vacation. If you're following me on Instagram, you know. Oh, and I got a whole bunch of pictures to show you guys, but I could have used this in Europe because we walked so much. Everybody needs this. It's anti-chafing thigh relief and body glide stick with aloe vera and coconut oil. $1.25. Tell me how much that chub was or chubby stick was. Aluminum free, cruelty free, dye free, paraben free, vegan, made in the United States. Perfect for thighs, underarms, anywhere skin rubs. Use before activities to moisturize and protect your skin. They had two different types, one for men, one for women. I don't know what the difference is, but whatever, if you care. Okay, it smells like nothing, that's nice. So you're not mixing all kinds of smells. This is why I wanted the stick instead of the lotion. Oh, that feels so buttery. You know why I wanted this? Because if you have the lotion, then you gotta rub it and then you gotta whip in between the thighs. <laughs> I'm not selling it, am I? But with a stick, just take it out and then you your thighs and then put the stick away. I don't think you have to rub it in. You just put it on and then boom, you're gliding all the way. <laughs> It's a dream. I love it. Absolutely great find. For her or for him, whichever you'd like. Coconut and aloe vera. Run, run, run. So I'm gonna give the Thigh Relief Anti-Chafing Power Stick five. Vivian Heads. Cosmetic Case. Look, and it's like an opal, what is this called? Holographic? I don't know the word, but look how cute that is. I love the 80s. Wait till I open it. Ready? One, two, three, go. It has a mirror. <laughs> what is this for the purse, for your travel backpack, whatever you use when you travel? The cruise <gasps> it has a mirror on it. I can't turn it too much because I don't want the glare from the lights hitting you guys, but. $1.25, all day, yes ma'am. And you're gonna get nostalgia. Look how cute this is. I think they came in different colors, but when I went, they only had this beautiful opal one. We're bringing back the 80s. Look at this for your makeup. Look at all the stuff that fits in here. Look at all the stuff that fits in there. Girl, you could even leave it on your vanity or your dresser like that, right? That's cute. Kind of have all your shit displayed. Do you love, I love it. For $1.25 all day. How much is a little case like this at Ulta? Don't tell me $1.25 because you're a liar. Even with your little coupon, it ain't no $1.25. Excellent condition too. Get you a couple. Put them on your vanity like that. Organize your life. <laughs> Put those in there. Beautiful, look at that. Now I'm gonna open, very well made and gorgeous. Dude, it's a clutch. <laughs> it's oh, Christmas party, Easter, church. It's a clutch, what you need? I got some, here. The club, who goes to the club? I don't know anybody that goes to the club, but if you went to the club, this is a cute clutch. I should have picked up two. If you can find them, tag me on Instagram because I want to see what color you find. So I'm going to give the little cosmetic 
case that is everything five Vivian heads. Number two. Fridge soda organizer. To have all your soda pop, that way you can just, have you been on organization TikTok when they organize the entire refrigerator? Do you not love that? Well, these are at Dollar Tree for a dollar. $1.25. I'm so used to saying a dollar. So it's made for cans, but I'm thinking why can't we do canned foods too? Organize the pantry because that's really looking rough. I think so. First we'll do it with the soda cans because that's what it's made for. Your refrigerator is going to look so cute. You see? Do you love? If you go to the container store, how much you think this is? Google it, you're going to be surprised. You can do the whole refrigerator. You can do the whole pantry, 20 bucks. The whole pantry. I love it. And the kids pull out a soda. Boom. I can't. Do you see how magical this is? The refrigerator is going to be aesthetically pleasing starting today. Let's try the cans just in case because I'm excited about the pantry as well. Run to Dollar Tree. Run. Look at the cans. See? You can do canned goods too. It's not just for soda. Three cans fit like that. But when you remove one, boom. Next. Like at the grocery store, you gotta move the old stuff forward. So you use it first. Everybody knows that, right? That's a rule to be an adult. That's how you organize stuff. I love it because it is multi-purpose, not only for your soda pop, also for the canned goods, all kinds of stuff. Let me know what else you would put in here. Cause you guys are so smart. You would put all kinds of stuff in this thing. So I'm gonna give the soda can organizer for the refrigerator five. Vivian heads, it's way more than five, but five. Blender travel case, how cute is this? They had these in all shapes and colors, like pineapple, I think a pear. So cute, $1.25, so that you can put your little makeup sponge, beauty blender, you want to call it in there to keep it protected from the fungalitis when you're traveling or maybe just throw it in your purse i'm saying for snacks too <laughs> why not you could put tissue you could put cotton balls chigle this is endless possibilities for this one it's a little case it is kind of big for the beauty blender but let me set the scene you're having brunch with your girlfriends and then you need a chigle or a mint take out your little case out your purse and be like y'all need a mint <laughs> Y'all need to get creative. Jolly Ranchers, anything. And then you look bougie. Y'all need a mint? I love it. Don't you dare just use it for one thing. Oh no, it fits perfect. Look at that. Oh, I should go back and get more. And it closes nicely. I thought it wasn't going to close very well, but actually the closing mechanism feature of it is really nice. So well made. The colors are super cute and it comes in a variety of fruit. Excellent for $1.25. You see, they've stepped up their game because they raised us 25 cents and they know we're pissed. So I'm going to give the little carrying case slash snacks mints chicle case five Vivian heads. Microfiber fan cleaner brush duster. Brand freaking new $1.25 you guys. And I love this little section of their cleaning area. We did this before. They have the broom, the microfiber for the floors. It has all the attachments for the broom head. It has all the attachments if you want to make the same broom stick into a mop. All the attachments. They'll show you the stick alone and then all the things. They brought this one in and I about fainted right there in the aisle. I couldn't believe it. You know why? Not two days before I purchased this guy at Home Depot for $16. This cost me $1.25. Yes, this one looks fancier and bigger and whatever. This will do the job. Like I'm so pissed. I already threw away the receipt and all the packaging, so I gotta keep it. Run. These little attachments do not last. Every time I go, they're sold out. So I must have come in right when they were stocking. After you finish my video, after you subscribe, because that really helps me out and takes me to the top of YouTube, I want you to go into your bedroom room and check your ceiling fan and see how nasty it looks and it's super easy to use look at that oh that's gonna get all kinds of dust take it outside and go like this once you get oh, look at this it's like a poodle look at this ceiling fan is gonna be squeaky clean all you do is screw it on to the end of your broom why aren't you working? That's all you do. Clean your fan now. Dollar Tree, I want to personally thank you for this one because this one solves a headache and a problem for a lot of people. Do you know how much we've saved? Look at the one I bought at Home Depot for. So I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. Emergency LED lights. 
We all need this. And it says 100 hours, I guess, of use. The world is crazy these days. In case of an emergency, we all need little lights. And it has a stand. But there's two in here for $1.25. That's pretty good, right? As long as you stocked up on batteries, then this should be fine. Look at this. You can hold them or stand them up all over the house. How romantic. <laughs> I hope they're bright. I mean, how bright can they be? But they're LEDs. Let's see, Vivian. How about you hush it? Just screw the bottom on. <gasps> I'm going to turn off the light so you guys can see how bright that is. That is actually very bright. I should go back, huh? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go back because I need a couple. If you light up the entire room, you guys are not even gonna know that some shit's going down outside. Look how bright they are. Now, how do we turn them off? Look at this. If you're walking around, if you're trying to signal somebody, you're like, nope, you're not welcome here. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is totally gonna work if you have to make a bathroom run. This was a great find, you guys. At first, when I picked them up, I thought, oh, those gonna be like plasticky and cheap absolutely not very impressed with the quality the brightness and they're a white led too so pretty so worth a dollar 25 for two of them so i'm gonna give the led emergency lights five vivian heads lavender scented warming face mask or eye mask on those days where you're exhausted and you need to chill or maybe you have a migraine when you're trying to relax it doesn't matter a warming mask for your eyeballs it's lavender so it'll help you relax step number one remove any contacts so they don't melt and makeup before using your mask must use mask immediately after removing it from the packaging oh because it heats up quick Oh, this might be for winter. Right now it's too fucking hot, right? Once exposed to the air, the mask will start heating up. Ooh, technology. Place your mask over your closed eyes. Ooh, keyword, closed. With the pattern on the outside facing, wait for one minute for the eye mask to warm up. Relax and enjoy until the temperature cools down. Oh, enjoy up to 20 minutes. Hey, that's pretty good. $1.25 for one mask. <gasps> it's a maxi pad. What is this? Is that gonna fit around my head? I think you tear it apart. It goes around your ears, because you have ear holes, see? It's like one of those warming, you know, you put your hands in, in the winter, put it in your shoes or in your jacket. Have you seen, you've seen those. We reviewed them for the doomsday bag. Oh, I can feel it warming up already. You put this over your ears to hold it in place. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh, it's warming up nicely. This is cute little gift, like you're making a gift basket or something for somebody. Oh, this was a great find. Run to pick some of these up. You know, that perfect warmth. <laughs> That's what I feel here. And the smell is not too strong either. That lavender scent is just a little bit. I'm falling asleep. Look at me. <laughs> On the airplane, maybe you're traveling. You have to go find it. I love it. Can I put it back and use it tonight? I know it's already activated, but oh, I got some good finds on this trip to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to get the warming mask. Five Vivian heads. Stackable pots. This is not a beauty product and Ulta doesn't sell it, but it was too good. This is a bonus feature. I'm going to throw this in because it's too cute and I have to tell you about it before they run out because they just got the spring stuff in. They had this in three colors. I got this kind of neutral color because I don't want to get all crazy with all kinds of colors in the yard. Look at this, look at this. I got two. You turn it like that. You have a garden den, a garden den. Oh, you can grow all kinds of stuff on here. I think you got to punch holes in there too so it doesn't rot the plant. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I've heard on TikTok. I'm gonna give you an example, look. <gasps> Super cute. Now I got this little one right there. I don't think the big one's gonna fit. So how cute that's gonna look with all kinds of flowers, strawberries, blueberries, lemon tree. I don't know what you can grow in here, but six plants fit in this one planter. Imagine that in the yard. How beautiful is this three tier stacker? For doomsday, you better start learning how to grow some stuff. So I'm gonna give the three tier stackers five Vivian heads. Peel and stick removable tile decals. They stepped up. These are like $10 each, $8 each at Walmart, are they? Maybe not that much, six. These are removable. So if you have an apartment or maybe the kid's room or your room, I don't know, any room that you want to experiment with. It's not a full commitment. It's just uh, today I feel like having gray tile in the bathroom, in the kitchen, whatever. 
no huge commitment, tear him off when he pisses you off. Just be like, I'm changing the room. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Are these not amazing? And because they're tile, you can just clip them together like this. Boom, they're already pre-cut. It's like a puzzle piece. Super easy, $1.25. You're gonna be able to do the whole accent wall, 50 bucks. The whole thing, that's pretty good. Do the math. Y'all don't know how much money you're saving. And it's removable, that's priceless. Look how easy this is. Pop it out of there. Ooh, and it is thick. I thought it was gonna be flimsy like a stick. Oh no, it is nice. It has texture to it too. It feels so real. It is not flimsy. It feels like cardboard. Quality, A plus. Straight line, just place it. Just be careful. If it's sheetrock, you might wanna be careful because you could tear the sheetrock. But if it's like tile laminate or something like that, it might be easier to take off. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Let me show you the before. And it covers a lot of area. Like a puzzle piece, I said. Oh, your bathroom is gonna look so good. Don't you think? I'm already halfway done tiling the room. They had different designs. Blue, aquas. Oh my God, so many cute designs. Look at this. I'm already done. I'm already done. Five minutes in. Super impressed. Not even overdoing it. I am super impressed. Made in the US too. It's called Main Street Wall Decor. Peel and stick. And all the instructions in the back. It probably tells you like, clean the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all the things. But I know what I'm doing, so I can go faster. This is a no-brainer to freshen up a room. Easy peasy. Do you love it? I should have got more. Look at this, and I'm doing this upside down, and look how easy and straight it's still going on. So if you take your time and you're actually doing this, looking at it straight, your stuff's gonna look so good. If you've done this or you've tried it and you got pictures, let me see your bathroom. I wanna see it because I am so impressed. I really thought this was gonna be like thin and flimsy and hard. As I'm talking upside down, I've literally tiled the whole wall in the bathroom. You're welcome. Do you know how much you just saved by not calling your contractor and telling him to come over and put the tile up? It's 20. 22. We need to learn some skills. Peeling a sticker is a skill. This is a skill we can handle, okay? And if you can't handle this skill, you're gonna need a lover who you treat real good to do this kind of shit for you, so you don't have to do it. That took me a whole three minutes. And now you need scissors because you wanna cut like the edge right there. Look at it. I have to tilt it this way so that there's not a glare on it. Do you not love that? It feels so nice and it feels like it's gonna be like waterproof. I mean, don't hose it down. But you know what I mean? Like if you spill something on it, if you do it in the kitchen, a little bit of grease or something, wipe that right up. If if you do a design, I need to see it because I wanna see your artwork. So I'm gonna give the removable tiles five. Vivian heads. Plant hanger, how adorable is this? This is not for like inside the house. Like grandma would have the hanging plant thing. This guy is made for the fence. If you have an apartment or a townhouse or something like that, you normally, not always, but normally you have like a little balcony area or shit, put this inside the house, who cares, right? You can hang it on the fence so that you have all the beautiful flowers. For $1.25, these are worth it. I think last year I saw some of the hanging basket. Those were like, the crochet like fabric ones at Target, but they were like $20, $30. And I went, do you smoke or what? What are y'all doing over here? $1.25, that's all that should cost. For $1.25, oh, I'm gonna get the whole garden hanging from the damn fence. <gasps> it's tiny though. <laughs> okay, let's see. I imagine you just spread these out like this, put your plant. No? No, it doesn't go around. It goes on the planter. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try. I think when you go to Home Depot and buy yourself a plant, don't take it out of the planter. You're gonna have to use that. Evenly put them around so it's holding it. How cute is this? Let's see. <gasps> Do you get the idea? Oh, this is cute though. Wait a second. Gentle, Vivian, gentle. <gasps> Look at it. Tell me you don't love it. If the black does not fit your aesthetic, baby, spray paint that guy. Look at it. Listen, the patio, the bathroom, all over the place. Let's hang it from the wall to see what it looks like. Gently hook it. Do you love it? Is she a plant woman now? It's gonna work on the fence. So for $1.25 all day, I'm gonna give this guy five. Vivian heads. Fake security camera. New product alert, new product alert. There was only two left. So people must be picking them up 
quick. And you might think it's cheesy, but it isn't. It is very helpful. For grandma's house, don't be cheap, buy her camera. But if you can't afford it, this works. I mean, it doesn't work like you're not gonna be able to see what's happening. But when people walk up to grandma's house and they're trying to knock on that door, they see this little light in the security camera. I hope it turns on. They're gonna like, walk away. Unless they shop at Dollar Tree or watch my videos, they're gonna know it's fake. Look, they give you some examples on the box. So you can put them at the front door for grandma, in the kitchen. Mm, I don't know about the inside the house. Grandma might not like that. The yard. The garage is genius. I never thought about that. This product is not a functioning camera. Okay, we know. <laughs> you gotta insert two AA batteries not included. The mock camera will automatically turn on. The red light will remain on until the batteries run out. Let's see how nice this is. Ooh, this actually might work. Somebody might fall for that one. It's gonna be believable in the garage. Two AA batteries. Oh, look, it's blinking. I'm gonna have to turn off the lights so you guys can see it. I didn't know it would blink. Listen, it's gonna help a little bit. It's blinking, so they totally are gonna think something's recording them. Look at it. And I know that I keep mentioning grandma, which she needs one, okay? Kids are too savvy, never mind. I was gonna say, the kids are gonna start talking to it and go, mom is not watching us through that camera. So I'm gonna give the fake security light five Vivian heads. Dust bunny cluster duster thing. Another one. Dollar Tree is killing it with this little cleaning section. Anywhere where you're gonna have like cobwebs, look at this. Most of us have broomsticks, so you don't even gotta buy theirs. Just attach it to anything you have. Not only for like corners where you have cobwebs, your vents for the garage. You know all the little corners in the garage where you're like, oh, there's all kind of critters in there. This is what it's for. Look at this. You just go ch 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 Tell me that's not a great deal for $1.25. Yes, it is. This must also be brand new because I had not seen it till the day I walked into that store. You just attach it and then clean out all those damn cobwebs before you have company come over. And then once you're done using it, look, it has a little hook. Oh, you're gonna be so organized. In your garage, have like a lot of hooks or command strips, and then you can put all your attachment heads and you only have one broomstick. The quality is A plus. So I'm gonna give the cobweb broom attachment five. Vivian heads. LED portable work light. There's two lights in here. The side light has 60 lumen, which is pretty good. The front one has 100 lumen. That's pretty impressive. Does it come with batteries or is this like solar? Requires three AA batteries not included. Okay, that's fair. If you get a flat tire, if you're outside and need to work on something, girl, this is a pocket light because it's itty bitty. Oh, it's a baby. It's so cute, you guys. Put it in your purse. You never know when you're gonna need it in an elevator. Maybe you're stuck at night somewhere. Girl, put it in your purse. You'll thank me later. You go in the backyard, you heard something. <coughs> Bitch, I heard you. Put it in your backpack for the kids when they go camping. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, that's the front. <laughs> That's the side. Okay, is this a button? No. Duck at night somewhere? Girl, put it in your purse. You'll thank me later. You go in the backyard, you heard something. First click is the front. Ooh. You're walking around outside. The side light. Oh, why do I love that one more? You can go to Dollar Tree and find you the work lights for $1.25, pick up two. You never know when you have a little emergency, you get yourself a little light on the side of the bed. And these lumens last forever. So I'm going to give the two source LED light from Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. Removable wallpaper. Peel and stick. My desk is black. I took off the marble paper that I had on and I thought at Dollar Tree they're selling this beautiful pattern and they had so many different designs but I thought let's freshen up the desk because it's been a minute. Look how beautiful that's gonna look and it's gonna cost me literally six dollars to do this. Do you know how much I pay for the rolls that I normally buy for this desk? Like 20 bucks a roll of that paper. Well, we're about to go all out. Hopefully this is not hard to line these up and hopefully they stick on for a long, long time. This should take us five minutes and it should cost us $10 max. And then my labor is about $300 an hour. So on the back, you're gonna have all your instructions and they look pretty straightforward. It even has a line here where it tells you to crack the paper. And then that's where you're gonna start like this. And then you'll 
peel it off like this. I'll show you here in a second. All the instructions are in the back and so easy. And then whenever you're done with it, peel it off and change the look. Just like the other tiles that I did, but these are a lot longer. They're not as firm. They do feel more like wallpaper. And the design is so cute. Oh, they had all kinds of designs. They had tile, they had a brick look, they had this look, they had all kinds. Let me know if you pick up a few. And let's do my desk to see how lovely it is. Also may need one of these little spatula things. I got this one at Daiso for $1.50 and it just helps flatten out as you go. You don't need this. You can just use a rag to help you smooth it out. But I had this. I thought I'd give it a try. You're just going to crack it here and that's just to remove the paper backing just in that one spot right there so you can line it up and then you slowly start removing the rest of the paper. Just make sure that your surface is clean. I did clean my desk really good before I got started. Once you have that first piece in place, you can slowly start removing with your little spatula or your rag. Just start like pushing it down like this and pulling it out. It's so easy. You guys cannot get this wrong. Just go slow. It looks so good. I cannot believe I got this at Dollar Tree, you guys. That's it finish off the last few pieces. And the good thing about it being removable is that if you get a bubble or maybe it's not lined up correctly, kill it off, do it again. Beautiful. Let's keep going. So easy. I see how you can change up a room in like a few hours on a very tight budget. No cutting, no measuring, no nothing. Well, if you're doing something this simple, right? If you have a huge wall, it might be a little bit more complicated than just a quick little desk. Getting to the edge here. And if you have extra, then you just cut it off with your scissors. Easy peasy. I'm done. That took a whole 11 minutes to do. And I didn't mess up in this corner here. It came right off and it stuck right back on. It did not lose the stickiness. It was not hard to remove. It did not damage the paper. The only thing, I don't know if it's too busy for me. <laughs> I don't know if I completely love it. I might tear it out and do a different design, but for now we'll keep it. So I'm going to give the peel off wallpaper five. Vivian Heads. Doggy Treat Puzzle. Tell me you haven't seen these at PetSmart for 20 bucks. Dollar 25 tree is stepping right into the doggy world. You know what I heard? When you leave the house, if you have a dog like I do, who is super attached and very needy and anxious <laughs> and has separation anxiety, things like this are wonderful because they will be so entertained. They won't realize you're gone for as long as if they were just sitting there kind of staring at the wall. If you have pets, you need this. I also want to send out a little shout out to somebody very special. I want to send a little hello to Grandma Wanda. Thank you for watching my videos. This is too cute. He's going to love this. Each little one gets a treat just like that. Cover them up. Oh, this makes them think. Jedi has no patience. He's like, I uh, guess I don't get a treat. So I'm not playing these stupid games. Jedi. Me, Jedi. See treat? Let me show him the treat so he knows. Look. See? Look. Here's your treat. Can you see it? Look. Can you get it? In there. He's like, I'm not playing this stupid ass game. Get it. Oh. He's stupid. He got it. Go home, my dog is smarter than your dog. Did you see that? This is genius. So I'm going to give the pup treat puzzle five Vivian head candle snuffer. Have you seen these at your Dollar Tree? I was shocked because how fancy is this? It came in, I think two, two colors, three colors. No, I think three colors. Cause it was like a rose gold, silver. And then this one, I believe. So cute, a dollar 25. These are not part of that special aisle at Dollar Tree. I know you've seen it where they're trying to be like five below and make things a little bit more expensive. No, no, no. This is part of the original $1.25 cent aisle. Aldi Meat Dollar Tree. We'll turn it on and then turn it off. <laughs> How else am I gonna test that? So instead of blowing your candle like we normally do, do you really need this? Probably not. Let me know if you've used these in the past and you absolutely can't live without it. I mean, just blow out the candle, not a big deal. But is there a benefit to using one of these where your candles last longer or is it just for fun? Just for whatever, you know, just another thing to buy, another thing to have. Is it just a decor thing? Like you have it right next to the candle to look cute. On the packaging, it says it is great for safely extinguishing candles with no mess. I've 
never had a mess. So <laughs> is it a mess to turn off your candles? I haven't had that experience, but please tell me about yours. I just blow it out, not a big deal. Is your breath that strong that you blew over a candle or something? Like what are the dangers? How cute is this? Look, it moves. I was even thinking, if you don't like the colors that came in, why can't we spray paint it? White, I don't know, whatever your decor color combinations are. Oh, it's so cute. Why do I feel expensive for having one? If you have a flame that is kind of low or in there real good, it's gonna reach without burning you. And then when you're done with it, you just light it like that. Do you love it? I feel like grandma, but I love it. Okay, I decided to go ahead and grab a tea candle so that you guys can see it a little bit better. That one's on. Okay, we'll do the tea candle candle first so you guys can see the magic happen and then we'll do this one how easy this is you just put it over the top right no instructions <laughs> it's super easy just put it over the top Never blow a candle again. That's what these are for. Great stocking stuffer. Grandma? For your aunt? She for anybody. Not even grandma. This is so cute, but my flame's kind of big in here. I'm nervous about this one. This is going to handle all that flame? That's a lot. Why do I love that experience? That is lovely. I think it extends the life of the candle somehow. I don't know why I think that, but I feel like it does something. I feel so proper and British. How lovely is this? What a great little treasure I found at Dollar Tree. Here's a little warning. Be careful because this little piece here gets hot. I wonder if you can put it up like this until it cools off because it gets hot in there. I don't know if you want to put it like this on your table and then have a little burn mark. Totally adorable, totally worth the dollar fifty, but the quality's I okay. Nothing fancy about it. Don't expect some Bath and Body Works kind of candle accessory, okay? It's not like that. It's very simple, super cute. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the candle snuffer five Vivian heads. Clean feet. These are little booties that you put on your feet and they will peel literally skin layers off. And I believe the brand name of this, Baby Feet, those are so expensive. I paid $1.25 for guess how many? Three, the original brand. I think you get two of them for $25. So y'all know what to do. Peels away calluses and dead skin cells, softens cracked heels and rough Rusty ass feet. I added that part. The trick to these is that you have to give it a couple of days for it to kick in. They don't work immediately. Like they don't start peeling tomorrow. It takes about seven days for you to notice the peeling has started. And when I mean peel, I mean chunks of skin. <laughs> it's gross, but it's satisfying at the end. Once you're done with all the shedding, allow treatment to work for 60 to 90 minutes, which is the same as the baby feet. Do not use more than once per month. Like that's how good this stuff is. If it works, once a month, go through this little process and your feet are gonna be amazing within 12 months. <laughs> They're crusty. I was so impressed, I want to. Because that's a good deal, $1.25. It's exactly how the other ones come. If you know how well these work, raise your hand in the comments down below and tell me that you're excited. You see it? Obviously, I can't try it today and show you the results today. First impression, 100% sprint. Don't even run. Sprint to Dollar Tree for three of these for $1.25. But if you want to wait till the end of this, follow me on Instagram. I'm not going to show you my feet because that's not free, but I will tell you how much it peeled and how well they worked. So if these work just as good, do you know how much money we are saving? I'm not going to cut it, but all you do is cut the top, put your foot in. I usually put a sock on and then just leave them on. Do chores around the house for two hours at least is usually what I do it for. If you've done these before and you love them and you have some tricks for us to speed up the process, leave it in the comments down below so we can read it. This is totally worth the extra 25 cents in my opinion. So just based on first impressions, I'm gonna give these guys four Vivian heads and the fifth one will come after the seven days. Sphere ice mold. Like the ball, you know how people make ice cubes into a ball now? Sphere is the correct way to say it. I'm telling you, if you have a party coming up, just go to Dollar Tree. You're gonna be able to save so much money. It could be a wedding, a baby shower. 
quinceanera, graduation, bachelorette party, wedding, anything. Dollar Tree is gonna hook you up. Look at the stuff I got today. Do you know how much these little molds sell everywhere else? Look it up on Amazon. Look it up and let me know what you find. I did open it because I had to freeze it so we can see if this really worked. I've always wondered, <gasps> could you make giant cake pops with this? I only did one because I wasn't sure if it would take longer if I did all four and I'm kind of in a hurry. But guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it into this glass. I didn't just do water. No, girl, I saw this trick on TikTok where you make ice cubes made out of coffee and then you drop it and then you put your creamer over the top and bam. So I thought how fun if we made our sphere out of coffee. So I did one. Because at first I thought I had to fill the water while it was open and that's, that's not correct. You have to close it, assemble it, put it together after you wash it with soapy water and all that good stuff. Then you fill it through the little hole. That's what I did. I don't know if that's right either, but eater. <laughs> <laughs> We're only on uh, two sips. Don't leave me no comments. I remember when Vivian didn't drink. <laughs> Guess what? We done been through the punkalitis of our life. Let me have a sip. Pop it open. <gasps> it did it, it did it, but it stuck to the top. Did, did, did. <laughs> I was trying to do a second one, but um, I didn't have enough coffee made, so. But it's half of a sphere. Look at it. <gasps> oh, see, what you do is you put it in your cup. Boom, we're not wasting that one. This is such a great idea. Oh my God. And then we need this one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get it out of there. I don't think you're supposed to run warm water over the top. Oh, here we go, here we go. You ready? Oh, did you see it? A pro tip from what I heard on TikTok is you want to make your coffee a little strong so that when it's in here, it tastes good and not too watery. Look at my coffee ball. Do you love it? Oh, your guests are going to be so impressed at your party. This is great for a cocktail party, no? Can you make it out of orange juice and have mimosa balls like this? Oh, that's unique. They're going to be like, she's brilliant. Hire her as the party planner. <laughs> How fun if we added the banana milk to it. This coffee is gonna be divine, but think of other ideas. Be creative. Let me know in the comments down below what else you think of. I see a lot of people put this in like whiskey. I think it's whiskey. It looks sexy. That's the only word to describe this kind of setup right here. Sexy. Now, super easy. Just pour your creamer over the top and you're done. Ready? One, two, three. Look at it, you see how it starts to turn your creamer into actual coffee? How genius, do you love it? How beautiful and aesthetic. Are you impressed? The mold, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Don't tell me you can get it for cheaper. People always arguing with me in the comments, maybe you can get that at Walmart. They can't, you can't, or Amazon, or don't even play with Target. Okay, I cleansed my palette, now let's give this a try. Divine, try it. And I bet if you put your favorite creamer in there and don't get crazy with the banana stuff, oh, you're gonna impress your friends when they come over and you give them that. Like, what are these balls in my coffee? <laughs> For $1.25, go get one and have a good time at your next party. So, I'm gonna give the Sphere Mold from Dollar Tree four Vivian heads. Ice bucket. For your next party, your next event, a wedding, a birthday party. Look at how nice that looks. Hey, it looks fancy like it's metal, but it's not. Fill it with ice. Then you're gonna put your wine. Oh, <gasps> look at that. A picnic. This can be a really cool like centerpiece if you're doing like tables at a party. You could even do party favors in here. I think these are so cute. For the price, you cannot go wrong. She is gonna be impressed if you take her to a picnic and you have this there. They have tons of different products made out of like this fake metal, I guess. You guys remember that plastic wear set that I had in my last Dollar Tree video? Yeah, they have everything. So I'm gonna give the beautiful ice bucket five 
Vivian heads. Plant hanger. The cloth ones, you guys. Target, 30 bucks. Dollar Tree, $1.25. This is a 30 inch hanger. It has a little metal piece here so that you can hook it from your ceiling or from the fence, whatever. Now, I've never used one of these, so I might be doing it wrong. I think you just place it in there, right? And then pull this around. Is this planter too big? I don't think so. It's customizable. Just let it loose a little bit and then you tighten it. Don't judge me, I can hear you in my comments. Oh, that's good, I think I did it. I'm getting grandma vibes all day, but I love it because that look is coming back. All the millennials think they're original. <laughs> no offense, millennials, okay? Grandma thought of it in the 70s. Okay, don't think you're the first one to plant some plants in your house and be called the plant lady. Plant lady's been around for years. Something like that, okay? <laughs> Close, just adjust it a little bit more. But you see how it's customizable at the bottom if you got a big pot? Tell me this was not worth $1.50. Now they did come in a couple colors, not too many, I think two other colors. But I got the black, cause that's like sexy. So I'm gonna give the rope hanger five. Vivian heads. Ready sets. A three pack. It is your napkin, your fork, your knife, and your spoon. Weddings, birthday parties, quinceaneras, baby showers, engagement parties. And there's this like silver plasticky stuff. And you don't even gotta like roll them up. They're all already assembled. You're just gonna put these down on the table. I was so impressed when I saw these. I'm telling you, the party section at Dollar Tree, they kill it in that section. They must have hired somebody from like Party City. Look at the. Tell me you're not impressed. <gasps> Girl, you ain't gotta do shit, we're done. We're ready for the party, boom. This is great for the doomsday bag, traveling. If you're going on a plane, take your own stuff. Like don't be putting dirty shit in your mouth. Baby, have one of these in your purse. Put in a little Ziploc bag. Each of the plastic wear comes in its own little pocket. Put a little ribbon on it. Oh, you just elevated that to million dollar party right there. Who's your party planner? Give me her phone number. That's what I'm gonna say. And then you tell them, hey, listen, these are souvenirs. Take them home with you. <laughs> oh, don't be too good. No, fold that shit right up. That's a good napkin. Look at this. You have to do no work. They come assembled and you get a three pack. Where are you gonna find that at Walmart? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna give the three four piece plastic wear napkin set from Dollar Tree five. Vivian heads. Mop and broom organizer. Do you guys remember when I bought the broom and then it brought like eight different attachments to one broomstick? And here in the back, you can actually see all the attachments that they use. Well, guess what, you guys? Now they have this little organizer. And I've seen this on the internet for way more than $1.25. I brought out my remodeled wall which is partially done. I haven't paid my contractors yet. Organize your mops, your brooms, and it even has a little hook for maybe like a duster. The quality seems good. Now, I was only nervous because, oh, oh look, those pop out. You see it? And then it clips. I was nervous because I was afraid that maybe it might not grip well enough. This might work and it might work so well. The whole wall can have hanging stuff. All kinds of stuff might fit in here. Somebody give me more ideas. It says it has an anti-slip rubber clip to prevent your brooms and your mops from falling in the garage. I'm thinking of all kinds of ideas while I'm reading. It's a space saver, perfect solutions for brooms, rakes, tools, and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, and it even has its own built-in command strip. Or the little holes to put nails in if you wanna do nails or screws. Maybe if you have heavy stuff. If not, the command strip works. Maybe I'll hang it here. Easy to install, you guys. Take the little plastic off or the little paper off. It's gonna take you two seconds to organize your life. Your mother is gonna be impressed. She's gonna be like, finally, finally my kid is getting their life right. Laid it down to make it easier for myself. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there, boom. And if you don't wanna use this little sticky backing that it comes with, put your own command strip on there. That way you can just pop it off without damaging your wall. Oh, it's kinda of crooked. <laughs> I have a mop and a broom here in front of me. I also have popped out the little grips. All you need to do is, that totally worked. Run, they're gonna sell out of this. Pretty impressive, look at that. Oh. If you have an earthquake, they might fall off. I'm totally impressed, but I don't think it'll hold a rake. The grip is pretty impressive. I'm not asking for too much though. Keep that in mind, it was $1.25. For some basic brims, some dusters, some things around the house, organize your life. For $1.25, you cannot go wrong. Go buy you five. So I'm gonna give the mop and broom holder five. 
Vivian heads. Candy jars with the lid. These made my day. They made me happy. When I left there, I was like, I'm gonna organize everything. This is not just for candy, okay? We're gonna do all kinds of things. <gasps> You can have a candy store, you can put rice. Girl, think of anything, you can put it in here. Your house is gonna look like one of those stores where you go and weigh the candy at the mall. That's what you do for the kids. Great idea. They do their chores and then they can come get and you can weigh and be like, you only made 20 bucks this week. Three candies out of this jar. <laughs> I'm saying all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna give you all kinds of examples. I have this little glass jar in my bathroom, but if you don't wanna do a glass jar, <gasps> cotton balls. You guys get the idea. How cute is that in the bathroom? <gasps> cute. What about these? Remember these from Christmas? Here's another one. Balloons, if you have a party planning. Tell me that's not cute. If you have a party planning business. Oh my God, all the colors, look at that. Oh, Ron, if you pick some of these up, you better show me your incredible organizational things happening. Every time I go to the dentist, he gives me a little sample of toothpaste. I love collecting miniature things. I, you know I collect them all. Cute, see and then you get it and you're like, here. For the guest bathroom, right? Let's try candy because that's what they're made for, candy. When I first saw them, I thought, I'm just gonna buy three. And I'm like, no, you need six. You need six. Look how cute this is. Does your house not look like a dream when it's all set up like this? How fun. Everybody's gonna wanna come over your house. Okay, don't do it. You could probably also put rice, flour, sugar. Oh, for the coffee bar, like everybody's doing now. So I'm gonna give the candy jars with the lid five, 20, but five Vivian heads. Facial brush. It's like a little silicone. So anything for the face that's silicone and gentle is always gonna be a yes for me. Came in a couple of different colors. <gasps> oh no, does it come off? It does come off, why does it come off? Can you, oh, wait a second. What are y'all up to Dollar Tree? Look at this. Are you guys gonna make like interchangeable heads? Am I onto something? Are you gonna sell these as refills? What are we doing? Let me know. <laughs> I want another scoop. Look at that, it comes right off. Is that for cleaning? I think it's for replacing. Maybe they'll start selling different types of heads to just attach. Oh, how environmentally friendly are you guys now? I love it. Super cute, well made. The silicone, super soft. What I thought I would do is put a little lipstick on my hand. See how well this stuff scrubs it off. It's not usually made for lipstick, but we can give it a try because this is a good challenge. Now, first you want to obviously wet it. And see, ooh, that made a mess. <laughs> you might want some soap. Oh, now it's blush. But it scrubs great, let me tell you that. I went and added a little bit of soap so that I can get the lipstick off. You know, sometimes these little silicone brushes or sponges don't do nothing. It's like, you might as well just use your hand. Oh no, this is scrubbing really nicely. Oh, I don't know. I think this is a good addition to their beauty products. And if I'm onto something with the changing of the heads, this is gonna be worth finding, you guys. On those days where you have tons of makeup on because you went on a date, you use this first to scrub it all off. Then, with a gentle cleanser, you can then take the rest of it off. Felt very nice, but it wasn't too gentle, like I said. If it's too gentle, just use your hands. Don't even waste money on a product if it's that gentle. It needs a little bit of something to scrub. Just a little bit, tiny, tiny bit. This is perfect. I'm actually very impressed with what I felt and how it worked. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the little silicone face brush five Vivian heads. Three ounce travel bottle. When I first picked it up, I thought it was for dressing, but no, it has a sticker on it that says three ounce bottle TSA approved so that you can get through the airport without getting questioned. It's the right size, three ounces. It's a silicone so you can just that's why I thought it was dressing. You could put lotion, shampoo, conditioner, and you're trying to smuggle some stuff into a cruise. This is silicone. They're gonna think that it's makeup remover or something. Just let them know. Listen, I have a very contagious fungalitis problem and this is <laughs> what I use for it. I'm not gonna put a lot, just a little taste. Then you put this on, let me see. They're, oh, that didn't smell at all. Oh, they're not gonna know, uh-uh. Let's see if it leaks, that's my only fear. Look at that, 
You can go on Amazon and buy all kinds of wackadoodle things to smuggle in the goods, but $1.25, why spend more? Excellent silicone. Then when you guys are at the beach, take out the uh, drinks and then hook it up right into their mouth. Put it away in your purse. That's an advanced guru traveler masterclass right there. You know how much I charge for this? Millions of dollars. A dollar twenty-five Dollar Tree. Thank you very much. You hooked it up. So I'm gonna give the TSA silicone smuggling goods carrier five Vivian heads. Stainless steel metal straws, and it even has a little brush. Four of them for a dollar. 25. Do you guys remember? It was a hit in that video I did years ago when I found these same ones at Walmart. I think we also got four of them. Yeah, half of that price. So if y'all thought that was a good deal, Dollar Tree. The one from Walmart didn't include the little brush to clean them with. Oh, look at the brush. Now, these don't have the little silicone. They're very lightweight though. I might like that. It does not have the little silicone tips that are usually very helpful so you don't knock a tooth out. Also be careful with these. I heard around town that people are hurting themselves with these, like they fall or something. So maybe not for kids, for grownups, that's why they're making those silicone straws now, which make absolutely no sense. Don't use a straw if you can't handle it, but be careful with these as well. A little brush to clean them out goes all the way through. You get two that are curved and then two straight ones. $1.25, are you kidding me? You cannot go wrong. This is a no brainer. I believe the ones that I got at Walmart were all kind of curved. None of them were like the straight one like this. Let's just try them out to make sure they work. Oh, so nice. I haven't seen these anywhere for less than three or four dollars. So I'm gonna give the stainless steel straw with brush set from Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. If you can beat this, I need to know. Money counterfeit pen. Did you ever expect to see something like this at Dollar Tree? I didn't. I thought these types of fancy government issued pens, I don't know if they're government issued. Uh, when we're talking about dollar bills and making sure that they are real, you would think that these pens would be a little bit fancy, a little bit expensive, not that easy to produce, right? Yeah, but they're $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Oh, you know what this is good for? Garage sales. <gasps> Great idea, right? If you have a garage sale going on, you can, is that a lot? <laughs> is somebody gonna get offended if you pull out the pen at a garage sale and you're collecting their money? Probably, people get offended for everything these days. I'm gonna use it at my next garage sale because you never know. You never know. For a dollar 25, why not? Why not be safe? So I have here a $1 bill and I have here a $5 bill, which I heard the $5 bills are gonna be extinct soon. Have you heard that? Should I be saving? this five dollars oh, watch it not be real i wouldn't know how to get a fake you just print fake money how do people do this okay so per the instructions on the box all you need to do is mark the bill in one of the areas that is not printed so kind of this yellow beige area if it turns dark then it is not real for at least 30 years. The mark will disappear after a few hours, so don't think you're writing on money. If the mark goes dark and stays dark, the bill is forged. If the mark shows up bright yellow, the bill is valid. Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay, I thought that if it was real, it was just gonna be clear, it would not show up. Okay, I wanna try it first on this piece of paper. Probably not gonna work, huh? Cause there's probably some kind of chemical on this paper. Let's see, I don't know. People try to print money on paper, I bet, and take it up to Dollar Tree. There's nothing on it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so is it okay to write on this money? Okay, let's see. There's nothing on this bill, as you can see. I'm just going to write right there, ready? It's yellow. I'm gonna say for garage sales, if you're selling big ticket items, example, a car, a phone, I don't know big ticket item stuff where somebody has to give you a pile of money. I don't know what you would be selling for a pile of money, but maybe you're selling a bike. It's not just a couple of dollars. You gotta be careful. Make sure that money's right. Okay, let's do the $5 bill. Da -da! My money's real. This one's fake. This is pretty impressive for $1.25. I think you should just throw one in your purse just in case. You never know when you need to pull that out. When your sister pays you back that money she owes you, take out the pen, see if she gets offended. This is a good investment into our future. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree money counterfeit pen slash marker is really what it is. Five, 
Vivian heads. Party glasses from the party section. Party section was the first thing I discovered at Dollar Tree. Out of this world, okay? Nobody compete with their party section. And now they're bringing in the cutest bride and groom party stuff like this. Tell me this is not adorable. And you're getting six for $1.25. The whole gang is gonna wear them. Look at this. Look how, for pictures, look how cute this is. Oh my God. It says bride, team bride. Let me look at my mirror. Do you love it for the pictures? Y'all can go to restaurants like this, like represent. Don't be embarrassed and ashamed of your friend. She's getting married, so you gotta do stupid shit until she's done. <laughs> and you're getting six, that should be plenty, right? Like don't have one of those wedding parties where you have 18 bridesmaids. That's not cute. Like you need six. That's the budget, $1.25 for each one. And then make them cute shirts. That's what everybody does when they go to Vegas or maybe they go on a cruise. <gasps> if everybody on the beach in their bikinis and then boom, they put this on and be like, represent our girl that's getting married and it's over and Good luck to you. <laughs> For $1.25, the quality is excellent. So I'm gonna give the Team Bride glasses five. Vivian head Vaseline, not just any regular ass Vaseline, no ma'am. All purpose cream Vaseline. It's not just Vaseline, they got extra stuff in here. I don't know how to pronounce that, Gly something. That's really good to lock in moisture. You know how people are putting Vaseline on their face? I think it's called slugging. Why can't you do it with this? Because it has vitamin C and the gliss, gli, Gly something in there as well rough elbows, dry knees, cracked heels, and dry hands. This is an upgrade to Vaseline. It is small. They're gonna allow you to take it through TSA for those crusty ass heels. When you're on vacation, you need this. Oh, it looks just like regular lotion. How long it's gonna take to absorb into my skin, I don't know, but it's not greasy. It does kind of feel like Vaseline, kind of thick like that, but it's not like oily and like sticky. Now it does have a scent to it. Listen, I'm very impressed. People think Vaseline is just like a basic ass thing. They've upgraded with this one. At night, before you go to bed, get one of those stones and scrape the hell out your, your ankles. Not ankles. <laughs> not your ankles. Don't hurt yourself now. Heels. Bottom of your feet. And then put some of this on and then put some socks on. And in the morning, call me to thank me because your feet are going to be so soft and do that a couple nights in a row they'll be brand new in a week results are not guaranteed look at that it's already in it's absorbed i love it highly recommend go pick some of this up so i'm gonna give this guy five vivian heads large square pegboard tell me how long these have been in stores to me brand new arrived hours before i got there listen that 25 cents we're giving them they are investing in the right products you're an organized freak like me and you get satisfaction by seeing everything exactly where it belongs this is dreams come true hashtag organization goals right here and they sell all the accessories number two it's a shelf for your pegboard a dollar 25 number three Ring hooks, two different sizes. Number four, loop hooks. You can set up the entire craft room and not only for crafts, like you can put your jewelry on here, kids' school supplies, laundry room, pantry, garage. Oh, you can set this up for your husband. Father's Day just passed, so for next Father's Day. But his birthday's coming up, Christmas is coming up. Do the garage, do a little section of it. Buy like six of these and then make his garage real cute. Put all his tools in there, organize them. And it came in two colors. It came in white and in black. It says it has a self-sticky mouth bracket sold separately my store didn't have that you need that piece don't forget it and I know you're probably thinking yeah by the time I get everything it's gonna be about $50 oh you've never done a pegboard then pegboards are not cheap so here's what this one looks like I was impressed with the shelf I want you to check Amazon so you can be shocked about how much the little accessories cost easy to install you just in Done. Why is it off center though? That's gonna annoy me. Look how cute that is. One for each kid. Put all their school stuff on here. Your jewelry, craft supplies. I'm gonna have to go back to get the whole damn setup and the backing. Look how many things fit on here. Your lights in case the electricity goes out. So it's a great shelf. Well made. Even my little mason jar fits on here. Things are gonna fit on here. It's not like a little narrow shelf. Oh no, you got plenty of room there. Oh, if you redo your room, I wanna see it. Cause I love organization 
organizational TikTok. I love organizational stuff. Like that's my favorite. If you're doing the garage, you can do screwdrivers. All you need to do is just fish it through there. Here's the hook, scissors in place. These big ones are like ring holders. I was thinking for like a cup. There's two sizes. Are you not impressed with my shelving unit? It would look nicer if I can hang it up for you, but I can't because I don't have the backing to it. I can't believe I missed that. I'm gonna have to go hunt for it now. Who knows how many Dollar Trees I'm gonna have to go to to find it. So I'm gonna give the shelf the hooks and the little pegboard five Vivian heads. Cherry blossoms, crafting glue, seashells in a jar. All of these separate are not that exciting or not that unique, but we're gonna put them together because we're DIYers. I saw this on the interweb somewhere. You know when you go to TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and they're selling you like little flowers in a jar, and then it has like the clear liquid. It looks like water, but it's really like some type of a glue. Did you know you could just use this glue? You don't have to buy no special expensive ass glue. Now this is gonna take probably three years to dry, but hey, who cares? You saved about $30 on a plant this small. When they make those arrangements, they're expensive. That's why I don't wanna buy them. But once I saw that little trick on the internet, I'm like, oh, I can do that from Dollar Tree. This right here cost me $3. And they're little because this is for like the bathroom. It's not gonna be the main centerpiece. I mean, it could if you're having a quinceanera. That's my step one. Take your seashells off. Take all the stickers off. Super cute in the bathroom. Actually, it's probably gonna cost you less because I'm not gonna use all that glue or all these flowers in here. You could probably get three jars, three or four jars out of this. If you already have a vase in your house, make your own arrangement with that. You don't have to go buy an extra one. This was a great find because I put it all together for $3 and boom, I made a craft. Couldn't get all the sticker off, but you get the idea. Clean it up well. Glue. Easy peasy. Pour it in. <gasps> oh, that's it. That's it. A little bit. Oh, I probably have enough for just one more jar. You see that same effect? You're gonna have to let it dry. It's gonna take days, <laughs> but you saved 30, 40, 50 dollars per flower. Okay, here's one. Don't throw any pieces away because you can make all kinds of arrangements. That's two pieces right there. Look. One, how cute is this? Two, for the bathroom? I would leave it like that. Tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. I love it. It's gonna take a minute to dry. I don't wanna lie to y'all and tell y'all this is gonna dry in a couple hours. No, days, but you saved a lot of money. Let me know if you've done it or let me know if you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna give my crafting stuff from Dollar Tree five. Vivian heads. Bride to be veil. That's right, for the bride. They killed it in the wedding section this time. Oh, they had it. Glasses, tiaras. That bachelorette party is gonna be lit. For $25, everybody's gonna be able to party hard. That way you don't use the good stuff. If you mess it up while you're partying, something gets in your hair, things are flying, throw it away. I thought that was so cute. How cute, can we make this with the Cricut though? That's too much work. How cute is this? You see it? Bride to be. She's gonna be beautiful. And then it has a clip on it, a hair clip. Now y'all can all chip in to get her that spare airline ticket to get to Vegas. She's got her veil. It's gonna be on a budget, but you got there, you partied hard, and you got memories. Those are priceless. All she's gonna think about is the good, the good old times that y'all had. I love it. For $1.25, this is a deal. Go get one even if you're not going to a wedding. I love it and I can't even see back there, but he's gonna wanna marry me all over again. Wear it everywhere. Listen, I'm gonna give you a pro tip. On your wedding day, you need to milk it. I don't believe in those one day weddings. No, you need to have like a whole week, two weeks of wedding parties. Wear this to Walmart, to the doctor's appointment, to the judge, I don't care. Let them know that you accept envelopes. <laughs> So I'm gonna give the bright to be clip and veil five Vivian heads. I love it. Exfoliating bath glove. And I'm telling you this now, Walmart has these for like three, four bucks. These are $1.25, brand new, and they come in the cutest patterns. Now you're only gonna get one, just in case you've never used these before, you only get one, but that's all you need really, because you're gonna use it in the shower, and then you're gonna scrub the hell out of your skin. And it gives you the best, softest skin ever. If you've never tried this, or you've never done the sugar scrub like we did in that last Walmart video, you have to try one of these for $1.50, what's it gonna hurt? Listen, this is one of my anti-aging secrets that I don't tell nobody, but I just told y'all. You have to exfoliate. Just like you have to exfoliate your face, you have to exfoliate your 
your limbs, the torso, the nargas, exfoliate everything, and then lather it up with some yummy oil or lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I just went left real quick. I'm just saying, that's the secret to keep everything snatched, soft, and young. Exfoliate, moisturize, and stay out of the sun with some SPF. That's another secret of mine. But this, if you've never had one, you need to try one. Look how cute this is. I keep mine, oh wait a second. That's not very good exfoliation. I have one in the shower right now, and that's like sandpaper. <laughs> This wonk wonk Dollar Tree. I just went on a whole tangent and this shit is not, oh no, that's a lie. Okay, now that I have it on, it feels right. Okay, I was gonna say that it's, that's too soft. See, one glove and then in the bathtub, in the shower, put it, a little bit of water, right, obviously. I even do it with a little bit of body wash. Oh, and just exfoliate the hell out of your skin. And it's gonna hurt. It feels like sandpaper. Oh, but you're gonna sleep good tonight. Oh, you're gonna sleep good. Crusty elbows like mine. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And you know what this is good for too? Right before you self tan. If you self tan. Some people don't self tan. I like to self tan, especially right before going out of town, vacation, a staycation, whatever. You feel like tanning? Do this step first with one of these. Super easy, convenient. It's already in your hand. And then just scrub the hell out of your skin and then self tan right after. Ooh, that tan's gonna look so good. So for $1.50, give it a try, thank me later for this one. And then once you're done on this side, you take it off and you switch hands to do the side of your body, okay? So it's not just for this side, but this hand. Just switch hands and you do your whole body and then you're done. If you want a secret of mine that is also cheap for anti-aging, put one of these in your shower and use it. Don't just leave it in the shower. Once you see the results of how yummy your skin feels, you won't be able to live without it. So I'm gonna give the exfoliating glove Five Vivian heads. Beard trimming cape, but we're gonna scratch the beard out of it. Trimming cape for anyone. This was in for Father's Day. So y'all need to go run, get it, for they run out, run, go get it. I haven't even tried it yet. How many different things can we use this for? Dad trimming the beard and the mustache, yes. But what if you're trying to trim your own hair? It's gonna catch it with your cape. You're trying to trim your bangs. You're trying to trim the kid's hair. Here's a bonus one. What if you're dyeing your hair? As you can see, my hair is darker. And at the end of me dyeing it with my little box dye, my bathroom had hair dye spots all over the place. This would have come in handy, I think. The hair dye can be dripping onto my cape. Some guys dye their beard, same thing. You don't want the dye dripping on your counter. You can't go wrong, just have one as a backup in the house. You get the little suction cups that you're gonna attach to the mirror is what they're saying, but I'm saying anything really. It has some Velcro here on the top to put around your head. The hair dye is not gonna get on you, it's not gonna ruin your bra, it's not gonna ruin your shirt if you have like a hair dyeing shirt like I do. The hook's at the bottom, you see them? This is not just for dad, look at this. Not even on the mirror, just on the counter, it's just the catch. Yes, put it on the mirror, it's gonna make a nicer little capey catching thing, but this works. I just don't want the dye to drip on my counter or all over my neck and chest. And then I go out and I have <laughs> dye marks all over me and it's real obvious that I dye my hair at home because I'm cheap. You're cutting your own bangs. Take it off, boom, boom, to the trash. So I'm gonna give the beard trimming cape, the hair trimming, the hair dyeing cape, five Vivian heads. Plastic coffee mugs, $1.25 for four. I don't even have to open them to tell you that's an excellent deal. This is from the fancy party section. Half of the cup is clear and the other half looks like it's metal. Beautiful, I love it. Can we really put coffee in here? I'm nervous, it is plastic. <gasps> Look how nice these are. Oh, this is not just for the wedding. This is for Sunday brunch, Easter. This is for all kinds of occasions. It's not gonna melt with coffee. Now it does say on here, not recommended for microwaves and do not run through the dishwasher. Pretty much common sense, but just in case I've reminded you, I'm gonna go brew some coffee in the actual cup to see if it melts. If it doesn't melt, then it's a go. <laughs> So here we go, brewed coffee or iced water. I think they're beautiful. Mimosas for brunch, like I said. For the coffee one, I was nervous because I thought it's surely gonna start melting any second. But no, look, 
it's holding up very well. I'm still a little nervous about it, but look how cute that is for the wedding. Baby showers, bachelorette parties, all kind of party, quinceañeras, graduation parties. And I don't know if they're BPA free. I don't know if the plastic is leaking into my coffee, but you only live once. Drink it up. <laughs> Pick your poison. I don't know. What do people say? Oh, well. <laughs> So I'm gonna give the coffee mugs from Dollar Tree five Vivians. Just don't put it in the microwave. Styrofoam coffee cups with the lids. You guys, stop going to Starbucks. Stop going to Dunkin'. Make your coffee at home. Because sometimes I think that people just like to go to Starbucks just to walk around with the cup. Ouch. <laughs> Let's stop with all the fakeness. Just get you one of these cups. You're getting four of them for a dollar and a quarter from Dollar Tree. You get the lid so you can be sippy sippy without spending too much money. And these are huge too. Look how big of a coffee you're gonna get. That's at least a venti. I don't know. I don't go to Starbucks like that. Maybe once a year. How cute are these? See, you can still feel important walking around Target. Sipping on this. Same thing, same thing. Quality, excellent. Super firm. The lids are very sexy and black. It has a little tab there to open up to either put a straw or just sip it like that. Super cute for the price is an excellent deal. You think grandma's gonna throw that away? Absolutely not. Grandma's gonna get at least six uses out of each of these cups because you can just rinse it out. Tell me, tell me grandma ain't gonna do that. So I'm gonna give the Starbucks dupe cups five. Vivian heads. Party shot glass ring, like a blow pop. Three blow pops, empty, for whatever beverage of your choice you want. I haven't seen these anywhere. How? You can't get this on Amazon. Oh no, it fits. <laughs> ah! I was thinking jello shots. Look at this, it fits perfect. I'm gonna have to take off my actual wedding ring. What if it gets stuck? It's plastic, you better tear that shit right off your finger. We have to call 911. Okay, look, I think you can kind of open it a little bit. You got big old fingers like me. And then you pop it open, take a shot. Everybody together. <gasps> oh, what if I put a little bit of my champagne in there? I don't think you could put liquid in there because I think it's gonna spill. So unique. Could you imagine at the mall, everybody with their jello shot in their finger, ready to go, ready to execute. When the bride says go, you ain't gotta pass it around. Carry your own shot, but don't drink it until we're all ready. Baby, 10 carats. <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse it, cause I don't know where this has been. Then we'll put some of my mimosa in it, just for funsies. Out of everything in the video, this might be my favorite thing. I just think it's so cute and unique. And then jello shots for everybody, it's gonna be a good time. Pretend this is a jello shot. <laughs> Close it. I guess you could put a little bit of tape, that's tacky. No girl, just make it a jello shot. You know you got that one friend who's mastered the jello shot? I've never made a jello shot in my life because I don't drink like that. <laughs> I really haven't, I really haven't. <laughs> this is, I really, no, uh-uh. My sister though, she's probably an expert. Mm. See, I already spilt it, I moved too fast, but look at it. Tell the girls, ready? Let's take a drink. When you walk around, you see your guests already drank their shot. Let me top that off for you. Your drink's empty. <laughs> yeah. I don't drink, but girl, go ahead. <laughs> I love it, this is my favorite thing. I'm just going to church like this. What's he gonna say? You can't tell me that's not a blow pop. I love it, my sister's gonna love it. Somebody needs to get married soon so we can use these. Even if you're not getting married, let me know where we're going and I'm bringing them. Do you love it? I love it, I wanna take it off. So I'm gonna give the Jello Shot Glass Ring five. Vivian heads. Hot and cold iPads. These are brand new. I'm telling you, my dollar store is better than your dollar store. That's a joke. Every dollar store is completely different because I get these comments all the time. Every dollar store carries something a little bit different. I mean, most of the stuff you can find everywhere. I just go to so many different dollar trees. I collect a little bit from here, a little bit from there. So it's not all one store. No, I do work for you guys. I shop a million different dollar trees to collect the best stuff I can find to show you so that you can go find them at your store. This was an amazing find because they reminded me of the pain cakes. They're little pads that stick onto you. In the beginning, I hated them and then I thought they're genius. I think they were $20 for two. This is $1.25 and we're going to DIY it so that they have a sticky backing. How, Vivian? At the same Dollar Tree. Number seven. 
double-sided tape for clothing. Maybe your buttons don't close. A million different ways that these can be used. I got 14 little pieces of fashion tape. We're gonna use this fashion tape on the back of these and we're gonna make our own pancakes. Or you can use them for what they're for. This is a multi-use, a multi-function product. It can actually be used three ways because these can be warm too. Those pancakes cannot be warmed up. These can be warmed up. They had different designs. For warming, put them in a paper towel, put them in the center of your microwave and heat up no more than five seconds or refrigerate it. This is what they're made for. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you just had a long day and you need to rest your eyeballs. If you have a bad headache, Sometimes you don't wanna hold those. That's why those pancakes were so genius to me. So you're gonna go get these and these are in the beauty section and they are the perfect size. I am not gonna call myself the DIY queen. Just make sure the backing, whichever side you're gonna use is clean, dry. That one you just place on the back of your little pack. I just made a knockoff of the pancakes. <laughs> it still has the little backing, just peel that off. And because these are made to be on your skin and your clothes, I imagine they're gonna be fine if they're on your forehead all day. Look at this. Thank me later, try this. Let's see if they'll stick and hold the actual pad up. So we'll put it on my forehead. Just pretend it's already frozen. Put it on your forehead. <laughs> Listen, reusable, because those pancakes said you can reuse them up to 100 times. Just keep buying these and they are not gonna fall off. Okay, if you wanna put it on your arm, same thing. They're not coming off and you just peel it off. Then whenever it's yucky and it doesn't stick anymore, just peel this tape off and put a fresh one on. Look how easy this is, look hot or cold with the option to upgrade with the tape. So I'm gonna give the Fashion Tape 5 Vivian Heads because it's excellent. And I'm gonna give the Hot Cold Dupe 5 Vivian Heads. Miniature LED desk lamp. How adorable does this look? They have a lot of lighting items in their lighting section. But the reason I picked this up, not only because it's miniature, and you guys know I love that stuff, and I love LEDs, but this has a 100 lumen. That is a lot. Very bright. Have you been to Walmart and you bought the outside lights where you put them in the yard to do a pathway or whatever? Those usually have like 5, 8, 10 lumens. This has 100 for a dollar. $1.25 and it's miniature and you can put it on your desk. Maybe for the kids if they love reading. Great for home or office. Flexible, portable, and foldable. Doomsday bag. Maybe you're taking a road trip. You do need three AA batteries. Why does it remind me of a Disney character? Look how cute that is. Look at this. Maybe for eyelashes. Maybe you're doing your nails and you need a good light. And look at that arm. Folds in every shape and direction. Let's turn it on. Ready? Do you love it? It only has one setting, it's on or off. If you're doing nails? So this guy was a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting how cute it was gonna look. I didn't expect it to be this big. I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller, but for the price, pick one up. So I'm gonna give the miniature desktop lamp five. Vivian Heads. Rubbermaid take-alongs. How great is this product? Rubbermaid is a name brand, it's like Tupperware. They have these at Dollar Tree and here's the kicker. It's like two in one, let me open it. It's a twist and seal with a removable tray for dipping and toppings. Is that not excellent? On top, there is a little tray for your dressing, hummus, and then you put your carrots, your pretzels, your celery sticks, or maybe you put snacks and then you put Skittles on top. You can do any kind of combination. And it's the perfect size, don't you think? Chips and salsa. We're trying to get hot girl summer ready. And this is how you're gonna do it. Be prepared. That's how we win at life. Preparation. Two and a half ounces are perfect. Well, you're gonna be able to count your calories and everything because you're gonna have everything measured out. You're gonna look so put together. When he sees this, he's gonna say, wifey material. You're gonna go, nope, forget it now. <laughs> oh, don't use me for my Tupperware from Dollar Tree. Absolutely not. Put this on top. Put your little lid on top. So I'm gonna give the three-in-one Rubbermaid Tupperware thing five Vivian heads. Disposable washcloths. Is this not everything? All kinds of ideas flooded in my brain when I saw these at the store. On a cruise, you know, take you one of these in the shower with you, or maybe you're on vacation and you're getting all sweaty and gross. Put this in your purse <laughs> or in your backpack. Go to the bathroom and clean yourself up. Now this is not to replace good old soap and water, but I'm just saying a disposable washcloth that looks like a baby wipe. Who doesn't need this? There are 18 in here for $1.25. 
They are alcohol-free, disposable, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin C. It will clean, moisturize, smooth, and refresh your skin. They are not flushable, so do not put these down the toilet. Even for a road trip, since we all have hot girl summer plans and a lot of us like to tan, some with like self tanner and then some with just like body makeup like this, I thought I would put body makeup on and then try to wipe it off with this washcloth to see how much of this makeup it took off. I like the self tan, but the makeup when it's just quick, I don't have time to self tan, that's the go-to right there. Just quick little body bronzing makeup does the trick. Look how good that looks. Easy, not sticky, dries immediately. Now, let me set the scene. It's hot, you're sweating, your makeup on your skin is coming down your legs. <laughs> you're looking all blotchy, not a cute look. So, you're gonna go to the bathroom, excuse yourself, grab one of your disposable washcloths. Why am I so excited about this? And I think they're super extra long like this big. <laughs> it's not a damn towel, but any everybody can use this. Look at this. Oh, wow! That's for the whole body. I'm gonna go get another one. Put on my makeup. Wipe yourself down with this before you get in the shower and then boom, it's like face makeup remover. White thing, maybe. Oh, it feels so nice too. Oh, that's gonna get the whole body. Look at me doing my legs. Ew, you know what it's good for too? If you're out of town or walking around somewhere at a flea market or garage selling and it gets hot or something gets on your legs, take out your rag. Not a rag, a washcloth. Oh, it freshen up. Don't have mud all up in your legs. Maybe you're at the restaurant eating seafood, clean your hands off. Oh no, but don't waste it for that. You get a little hand wipe for that. This is a full body towel as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and it smells so nice. It has a very mild smell to it. So impressed, I will probably go pick up more. And I'm gonna throw in the backpack, in the purse, in the car, in the cruise bag. Here's TMI and a PSA, all in one. For external use only, per the packaging, don't put this near things that are very sensitive. Do we understand that? <laughs> I don't have to be specific, right? This is for just the limbs. And I think this brand is half decent. This is the first time I've seen them there. So I'm gonna give the disposable washcloths five. Vivian heads. Party, drink, bags, I win, and by default, they win. Four of these drink bags, fun for the entire family. You have the best parties ever. Even if they're just Zoom parties, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, they have the hole so you can hang it? At least invite four of your best friends over for this one. This is too funny. For the kids, you could put fruit punch. For the adults, grape juice. I love it, it's like a juice box. Listen, Dollar Crew, if you're still on the Zoom call, y'all gotta make these year round. Y'all would make a killing. Go into business with me. Let's partner up. Take it easy, Vivian. Go easy. Oh, it's working. Look at it. I need to move it, but I'm scared. Here we go. Here we go. You see how it has to be a red drink to get the full effect. This is the life force right here. <gasps> Can you seal them so your friends can trust that you didn't take a sip off theirs? Look at this. Like a juice box. You can either suck, squeeze. <laughs> I just still dread. Go for this in the shot glasses. So worth every cent that I paid. So I'm gonna give the winners of the contest. Bye. Top lock snack container Tupperware things. I know they're not Tupperware. You ain't gotta say nothing. Nobody cares. But little baby snack Tupperwares with the snap lid. Three for $1.25. That's an excellent deal. Tell me if you can get this at another store. I think the only other store we might be able to get a three set like this is maybe Aldi. But Walmart? Absolutely not. Target? Are you dreaming? It came in a couple different colors. I think it was like navy, pink. I loved it. And look how cute they are. And it's the perfect size too because sometimes you know the little snack Tupperware things they're too small and you're like what am I a durable what kind of snack fits in there this is the perfect snack right here look I have cherry tomatoes and I have some almonds oh you know what this is good for too like if you have leftovers sometimes you have a little bit of leftovers and you don't need a big ass Tupperware double layer this because the lids also a little bit more lifted for the kids, for the lunchbox, that is an amazing deal. You can have a variety of snacks in your purse now. That's living the life. That's a lot of almonds. You're only supposed to have like 12 almonds. 
This is for the whole day. And they seal so well. They even have like a little thing there to make sure it's nice and airtight. Look at that. You got three snacks for the whole day. And then get a little Sharpie, not Sharpie, but like get a little dry erase, right? Or even maybe Sharpies, because I think you can wipe off Sharpies with like alcohol pads, maybe. But write your name, or write how many calories, or what time you should eat your snack, the kids' names. They probably lost money on this one. So I'm gonna give the snack containers five. Vivian heads. Hand sanitizer, but not the gel. No, it's a spray. No wipes, no gel, no nothing. Just spray it all down. This is great for everyday use. Maybe you're getting on an airplane and you don't want to take out the wipes because you feel weird. It has vitamin E and moisturizers. It's for on the go for your purse. It even says it here. It's not just me saying for the purse. I think this is way more convenient than all the other options we had before. And for a dollar, and you don't have to throw it away whenever you're done with this little thing. Just refill it with alcohol again. Don't throw this little bottle away. It's really nice, actually. I'm impressed with the quality of the bottle. I know that's weird, but I love packaging as well because I like to reuse stuff. And if it has a great spritz, oh, I'm keeping it for all kinds of stuff. On a train, on a bus, in the Uber. Let's see how great of a spray we get. All day. Love it. It has just a fresh, clean smell to it. Oh, I gotta go get some more of that. On a cruise? But I'm saying on the plane, just spray down your seat. Does this really work as good as the gel? I always get the gel because I'm like, I feel like I'm literally bathing with it. <laughs> this is just a little spritzer, but this is just as good. And it dries super fast. Excellent. Have you been to Bath and Body Works? I haven't, but I saw another girl talk about it. She was bragging about how good they were, but they're expensive as hell. So for $1.25, stock up one for everybody in the family. As long as you don't care about the fruity smells, this one is just as good. I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. A bag in the shape of a box or a box in the shape of a bag. Look how cute this is. Tell me if you've seen this at Walmart. It's a bag, but it's a box, but it's a bag, but it's a box. <laughs> how cute is this? You know, sometimes you're like, okay, I just need a cute little bag. Totally different. $1.25 for just the one. It is a little small. Maybe you have something a little bit more delicate. You don't want to put it in a bag. This is an upgrade from the bag, in my opinion. And if you ever need any type of like, birthday packing bags or paper. Stop at Dollar Tree if you've never checked out that section. Their bags are so cute. And this is a new addition to that section of the store. How adorable is this? A lot of stuff fits too. Look at that. And you're still getting the same effect. Put your tissue paper in and it is well made. And I love that it has the little handle too. This is exactly how I wrap. I just stuffed the paper in there. I mean, I make it cuter, obviously. Boom, present done. It's almost like you went above and beyond, but you didn't. It's just a cute little box that looks like a bag. How come that looks so cute now with the paper on top? It looks like a little cloud. It looks like icing on the cake, doesn't it? And they had more than just birthday ones. They had different occasions, but how cute is this? Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is worth $1.25. For what it is, it's not just a regular bag. So I'm gonna give the box a bag from Dollar Tree, five Vivian heads. Drying gel packs. We've all seen this, right? To keep the moisture out. Sometimes with clothing, they put these little packs inside to just suck up all the moisture that could be in that packaging, right? So it doesn't get funky. Since when the hell does Dollar Tree sell those packs? You're getting 10 of them for $1.25. Check on Amazon. I don't know if they sell different kinds for food versus like using it in clothing or like storage stuff. But what I heard was <laughs> when you're getting ready to do like your packs for your doomsday box, research this because I'm not 100% sure and I am not an investigator. But from what I understand, if you put one of these in the pack of stored food, it'll help also keep the moisture away, I think. Check, let me know, confirm in the comments of this video. You know what else you can use it for and you probably never thought of it in their shoes. You know, some people have sweaty feet. Maybe you've been out all day. Throw one of these in there so fungalitis doesn't grow in your shoe. Did you know you could do that? So store your shoes away with one of these little packs in them. That keeps the moisture away and it dries up the shoe so they're nice and fresh next time you go to use them. 10 of them for $1. So all you do after you take off your shoes, you just throw one in, 
shoes will stay dry because you want your shoes to always be fresh. Here's a pro tip, always alternate your shoes. Don't wear the same pair of shoes every day. Give them at least a 24 hour period to be open and get air and dry up in there, especially if you're doing things that are making you sweat. If you can, sometimes you can't for packing when you're going out of town. So I'm gonna give the gel moisture absorbing packs. Five Vivian heads. Paint brush marker. Hopefully it's permanent. Oh, I'm gonna be mad if it's not permanent. Party favors on mugs, glasses, ceramics, porcelain, and other non-porous surfaces. I don't have to stick it in the oven to cook it or nothing, right? So you're gonna buy this. Number five. Then you're gonna buy this. This is all in the craft section. It's a little plate. Look at it. You could put the table number for the wedding, right? Table number 12, or you could do the guest name and then they can take this home with them. You have an artist, maybe a scenery. Oh no, girl, look how beautiful this is. You got a whole blank canvas right there and markers. You know what? The guests can draw y'all pictures and then boom, leave them at the table as a little present for y'all. Wishes for the bride and groom. Y'all can do whatever. Like I can't come up with all the ideas for the party, okay? I charge for that. $1.25, $1.25, how many tables could we do? Tons for like 20 bucks. Y'all seen prices these days? We're on a budget. We gotta DIY a lot of this stuff now. Table, ooh, have you seen those people on TikTok and Instagram that have the beautiful handwriting? They're like, make me jealous. <gasps> wow, it feels like a paintbrush. You get them in every color. Okay, maybe you don't want the plate because you think it's tacky. You're wrong, but that's fine. Write on everything. Y'all need to hire me because my calligraphy, that penmanship, what? It feels so nice. It is really gliding like a brush. Some people told me in my last video that I misspelled tonight. It's on purpose. It better not be rubbing off in here in a minute. And the tip is like really fine, but somehow it's working. It's a great centerpiece they can take home with them. You're impressed with my skills. Oh, we gotta put some hearts or something. That's kind of boring. Now, I think when I went, there was just like a few colors, but if you can find every color under the rainbow, get it. Highly recommend the pen. It's not even stinky like a marker. No, how cute is that? Let me rub real quick. Oh, that's not coming off, baby. That is permanent. That's what I'm talking about. I understand. The plate may not be for everybody, okay? You're too good. But the pen, I'm sure you can find a project. Look how that just glides on. That pen is everything. If you have any type of talent, go get you these pens because your shit's gonna look good. Just personalize everything. <laughs> that is not coming off, look at that. The little plate, super cute, especially if you know how to draw like scenery, an animal, that. Four Vivian heads, the pen, everything. Five Vivian heads. Disposable over sleeves. When I picked it up, I kind of guessed and went, I gotta try this because I think it's one of those sleeve covers. I mean, the title pretty much tells you what it is, but I think it's for the sleeves, right? Like when you're spray painting or maybe you're doing some kind of like, <gasps> yes, like tie dye or something that you're sticking your hands in. Just put some latex gloves and then put this to here maybe. Let's open it, Vivian. There's four pair for $1.25. That's pretty good, right? If it's what I think it is. The crafting world must be going nuts over Dollar Tree. If you're a crafting kind of girl or boy, let me know in the comments down below if you're going crazy with all the Dollar Tree things. Yes, it is. Oh, this is more than just crafting. What else can we use this for? It is exactly what I thought. So it goes, I think, from the wrist up just above your elbow. But if you put latex gloves, that way you can dip into paint or whatever the hell you're doing. Whatever craft. Tie-dye, I don't know. It's so that your arms don't get dirty. You're getting four pair of these for $1.25. That's pretty good for the kids for the summer. Oh, they're gonna be bored because it's too hot to go outside. Have y'all been outside? Did you melt? You don't wanna send the kids outside. So you better have some crafts so that they entertain themselves. Buy some of these, everybody gets their own and they can do crafts and not make a mess. Maybe when you're dyeing your hair, right? So that you don't get hair dye everywhere. I don't know, let me know what else you would use it for, but I'm just saying for stuff with paint. But I imagine you can use this for all kinds of stuff. Maybe you're doing something where you don't wanna get all itchy. Arm protection. Maybe at the gym if you're trying to sweat it out, like a sauna, you know those sauna suits? Something like that. Ooh, I bet these are not just for sleeves. I bet they're legs too. Can you not put these on your legs? Like if you're outside doing yard work and you don't want the grass to get on you and then you get all itchy and gross? 
all kinds of ideas. You gotta get creative with this stuff. We're gonna stretch that dollar fifty in every damn direction for the yard guys when they come over. Tell them to put this on. I don't have a yard guy. My husband's my yard guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, if your husband's your yard guy or you're the yard guy, well hell, put this on your you're gonna probably faint because it's too hot. But it's gonna protect you so you don't get itchy. Or if you're doing a craft with paint, you're not gonna get all dirty. What do you think? Is this worth a dollar twenty-five? Super comfortable, they're not too tight, they're just perfect, and they stay up, they're not slipping at all. I'm quite impressed, I've never tried anything like this before. So, I'm gonna give the disposable arm sleeves five Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!